Good morning, friends, and happy Friday. Today is Friday. I'm looking so forward to the wet and soggy Easter weekend. <laughs> if it was going to be sunny outside, oh, nice and warm, I'd probably be a little bit more excited about it. But unfortunately, it is going to be raining I think most of the day tomorrow and Sunday for Easter is also supposed to be raining um, which is just bleh. Brian was supposed to go racing again tomorrow with his RC cars and once again um, he is gonna uh, not be able to go because of the rain uh, so unfortunately He's not gonna be able to go do that. And then he was hoping that he could, could go next Friday night um, to the night race. And I said, nope, Brian, you can't. You are you have plans with Ray. And he's like, dang it. So he's not gonna be able to race. Um, and he's actually gonna be going to uh, some concert. He's gonna be gone possibly for the entire weekend, Friday night, Saturday night. He'll be home Sunday. Um, which I have plans that weekend too. Um, I'm actually going to go to my mom's house on that Saturday and uh, we're going to go through pictures and stuff at my mom's um, that she wants to have put out um, on her for her anniversary party. And then um, we're going to go get all of the supplies that we need for the anniversary party as well. So we're talking plates, napkins, cups, etc. All of that stuff. So that's what we are going to be doing that day as well and then of course it's just gonna be me my mom and my sister so the three of us are going to just kind of spend some nice time together um right now though i am headed over to the chiropractor because my appointment is at 8 30 and it is 808 right now and uh so i'm gonna go check this out brian got back from his chiropractor appointment last night about 5 30 and um shortly after he got back is when that lady and her husband delivered that piece of furniture for me that i bought at her store it looks amazing i love the way that it looks i will share that with you guys later on i know that i left you guys hanging yesterday <laughs> sorry is you know i really wanted to just kind of get that video up and edited um so i could have it done for you guys and uh, i did i managed to have it up obviously and i will put a link to that video yesterday's video in the description box below if you guys missed it um but yeah i last night after they got after they dropped it off or whatever um i brian and i had dinner we just had leftover that chicken that we had the other night with uh, that i had put in the crock pot we ate that for like three nights which was amazing um was it four nights or three nights did i make that tuesday or wednesday anyway nonetheless we ate that um for dinner like the last three nights however long it's been and um because it, it made plenty of it and it was just so darn good so that's what we had um for the past couple of nights and um we just we added nachos to it did it differently every time um this last night we did um nachos and then we added the shredded chicken on it with the peppers and the onions and then some cheese some sour cream it was really really good um but anyway so that's what we um, had for dinner last night and then after dinner um, I had went downstairs cleaned up the kitchen put everything away and then I just kind of wiped down that cabinet and kind of put everything back on it um, the way that it looked on that little shelf and wow I thought I would have to change out the layout of that wall all the stuff excuse me hiccup on um, all the stuff on that wall and I I really honestly don't have to it looks amazing um i think it just fits that wall so perfectly and that's kind of what i was afraid of that it was just going to be too big and i would have to rearrange all that stuff nope it it perfect it's perfect and i absolutely am so happy about that that's exactly what i've been looking for exactly what i've been wanting and it's actually just a perfect piece in there and like i said i will share that with you guys later on um after I am done with my chiropractor appointment, uh, I'm gonna go on the other side of the mountain. There is a new store open called um, Tara Masu 
papier or something like that. Anyway, um, it's a, supposed to be a really cute, um, like, uh, stationery store. So I want to go check all that stuff out in there. It looks really, really cute. And my uh, friend, the girl that I had lunch with uh, several weeks ago, Jamie, um, sent me the information last night via text and said, if you have not checked this place out yet, you need to. It's on your side of town. So I'm going to go do that today. And then I'm going to stop off at uh, probably Publix and pick up a few things and then go home. And that's where I'm going to be for the rest of the day. And I think what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is um, wipe out the cabinets in that count council and um, kind of rearrange some things that way I have room to empty out those new dishes that I haven't taken out of that box yet um, that are Christmassy dishes so we shall see we shall see but right now I'm headed to the chiropractor's office I just kind of want to fill you guys guys in on today and what I'm gonna be doing and what I'm up to it's supposed to be a beautiful day high of 80 today full Sun so excited about that and uh, yeah let's just have a great day and let's uh let's hang out all right so i pulled into the parking lot and they don't even open up until 8 30 so i'm actually just gonna go right down here and i'm gonna go get my car washed because y'all know how obsessed i am with having to get my car washed and um, i have plenty of time so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do car wash first because my car is filthy it was like all yucky and rainy a little bit yesterday when i left so and it's got all this like pollen all over it so let's go get the car washed shall we for almost two hours now. Um, my mom called me and I was on the phone with her. I sat in the Publix parking lot chatting with her for forever. And then while I was on the phone with her, Brian called and then um, I, I had to go to Publix and get groceries. It is now 11 o'clock. <laughs> so I am actually just on my way home. Um, that place that I wanted to go to wasn't open yet after the chiropractor's office. So I didn't want to drive all the way over there knowing that they wouldn't be open. So I'll have to um, catch them on an open day um, when I'm over there. Um, but I did go to Publix and I did get some groceries. And then Brian is at his doctor's appointment right now, his regular doctor's appointment. So um, he's doing all that. So while he's doing all that, I'm gonna go home and unload all these groceries, show you guys what I picked up. And uh, yeah, just kind of get busy doing things around the house. The chiropractor was amazing. Um, obviously I have total arthritis which I already knew that um, and it's kind of like getting into like my neck area and that's what's causing a lot of like pain in my neck my shoulder my arms my elbow all that good stuff um, tweaking my back today which was amazing because obviously I have to I deal with back issues as well and then when she did the x-ray she could see that my right side hip area is just a little up above like where it should sorry you guys are like so close my hip area is like um so it's like this on my right side not like this but you know it's like a uh, um, what am I trying to say? Blah, 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 blah. It's just a little bit higher than the than the right side. So my left side, no, my right side's a little bit higher than my left side. Um, which you know, so she said she can get that aligned and adjusted and all that good stuff. So, so for the next twelve weeks, if I or six weeks, I think she said six weeks. I can I'll go there for the next six weeks, three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every those three days at nine o'clock in the morning so for the next several weeks I'll be going there at nine o'clock in the morning so that's gonna take up some of my time <laughs> in the mornings so I'll be going there 
Um, but I think it's going to make me feel so much better. And Brian's the same way. He has to go three times a week as well. But he won't go until like 4.30 in the evening after he gets done with working. So I think his, his appointment's like 4.15. So, um, but anyway, I also stopped by Lawler's and picked up some pork nachos and I am like they smell so good so that's exactly what I'm gonna have when I get home for lunch and then um yeah put all these groceries away and, and all that good stuff and then get busy around the house and share that cabinet with you guys Ooh, my new console I don't know what you call it do you call it a console do you call it a cabinet do you call it a sideboard um I don't know what you call it our sideboard more or less for like a dining room where you're putting all your like drinks and stuff I don't know look all I know is it's gonna it's gonna house a bunch of stuff in there um, like dishes and storage for me because um, yeah I still have those dishes that I had bought way back in December in a box because I haven't cleaned out my china can and that's what I was going to do. But anyway, we'll figure it all out. But it looks really pretty in there. And then I had to clear off the other shelf that was in there and then um, Brian and I can carry that upstairs. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna get home and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so I am home and I wanted to quickly show you um, these like vitamins or the stuff that she gave. She gave Brian some too. He has some over here on the counter and then she gave me the same thing. Um, these are, I just, I would assume like supplements. Um, but anyway, this is for disc. This is for a bovine cartilage manganese supplement to support back function. So I'm supposed to take two of those like three times a day, which I just did. And then um, this one is um, omega-3, which is omega-3 formula to support healthy heart, joint, brain, and immune function. And um, three of those one time a day, three of those one time a day, right? Is that what she said? <laughs> three of those one time a day. Um, what is this? A uh, one, one to two or more soft gels daily with a meal as a dietary supplement. So, I mean, I always know that omega-3s are actually really, really good for you. So I'm gonna have to put my name on these ones because Brian and I have the same bottles. So I'll put his name on his and mine on mine. So he'll know. But anyway, I just took some. So here's to uh, healthy, what is it? Healthy back function and immune function, brain function, heart, joint. All right. <laughs> Let that brain one kick in because I need it. <laughs> like with uh, menopause, like your brain fog sometimes. Okay, so right behind me is all of the groceries I got from Kroger. Excuse me, my gut, see? Kick in, hurry up, because my brain can't function. Um, that I picked up from Publix. And uh, so I'm gonna go through that stuff really quick and undo it and share it with you guys. And then the other thing, the other what I did the other day, what a dope. So the other day, it was Wednesday. After I was finished with my um, vlog for Wednesday, I got it up and edited, and then I brought the kids' Easter basket stuff in here, and I set up my camera on the tripod, and I put together each one of their little Easter baskets. And um, yesterday morning, I deleted that footage. <laughs> And I'm like, brain function kick in. <laughs> so anyway, I deleted that footage. And, um, but I do have all their baskets and stuff together. So I'm going to go, let me show you that stuff really, really quick. So this is little Mrs. This is little Liliana's, her little Easter basket. She's got a cute little red dress down in there and her little Easter book or her little bunny. And then her little Pez, which she can't have Pez, but you know. And then this little organic sweetened apple thing. So cute. And then this is Lucas's. And his is, you know, all boy. Um, dinosaur, sippy cups, one little small chocolate bunny. Um, I got him a little, some car sets down there, Hot Wheels, a little um, book about dinosaurs. And then, of course, his little Pez, which, you know, all the kids love a little Pez. And then Parker's is right here. Hers is pretty much the same thing she got a little bunny a little sippy cup she got some of her little dollies her little chelsea barbies 
a Peppa Pig stuff, a little happy Easter mouse, and some stickers, which I probably should get a little bit more things for Lucas. I just kind of ran out of things to find him. So, but anyway, that's their Easter baskets all put together. And so I will bring those obviously to my aunt's house on Sunday, because that's where we're all going to be for Easter, which is going to be, oops, very, very nice to be together with the family um, on Easter. So that's gonna be fun. I get to see them again, so it makes me excited. All right, so I'm gonna empty this stuff or take this stuff out of the bags and then share with you guys what I got. All right, so Brian wanted some cereal. He loves like honeycombs and stuff, which I love these too, but obviously can't have them because they are not gluten free. So I got him some honeycombs and they were buy one, get one free. So today Publix have, had, was having a nice buy one, get one free sale. So it's kind of nice to stock up. So that's what I did. Um, Rice Krispie cereal I got for making Rice Krispie treats for Brian. Um, he also wanted some pops, so I got pops for him. I got some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I got some applesauce, because I have been eating applesauce a lot in the mornings with some cottage cheese. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. So I got cottage cheese as well. I got some uh, chicken um, breast to make maybe a chicken salad or even chicken, buffalo chicken dip. Um, I got chicken broth, cause I needed that the other day for our chicken thing and I didn't have any. Um, I picked up some Duke's mayonnaise. I picked up some dill relish cause I've been craving egg salad. So um, I'm gonna make some egg salad. I also got, these are my jalapeno poppers. I'm thinking about making those for tomorrow. Um, I got some Cool Whip because I'm gonna be making a, a gluten-free cheesecake for my aunt's house on Sunday. I got sour cream. Um, Brian and I have been doing this on the weekends for breakfast. Um, we just make sausage patties out of this stuff. It is so good. And then I got some ground beef because I want to make some uh, stuffed peppers. Um, I got some burgers because we might cook burgers on the grill tomorrow. I got some milk because this was also, I think this was a buy one, get one, which is a good deal. Um, I got some of those smart buns for the burgers. Those are gluten free. I got some tropical fruit because I want to give this a try for just like a snack. This is the Red Hot Original for like wings, but we put this in the chicken dip. Um, some Tillamook ice cream because this is my favorite. Some Fruity Pebble cereal because it's gluten free. And this is how I like making my Rice Krispies for myself now. Um, I got eggs, I got two sweet potatoes, I got some lemons, and I got some peppers to make for those um, stuffed peppers. But <clears throat> other than that, that is my grocery haul. Now, let me show you the big reveal. Are you guys ready? This is so pretty. And again, I just kind of have things, you know, up there. They may not stay where, oh, sorry, it's dark. Um, they may not stay right exactly where they're at, but for the most part, ooh, peak. Ooh. <laughs> it just looks so pretty. Okay, so there it is. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, look how pretty it looks in here. Um, this is still sitting here from yesterday because I needed to clean it out and move it. So I'm gonna get this stuff off there, dust it, and we'll carry it upstairs. But there it is. I love it. And it just looks so cute. I pretty much just put everything back on here the way that it was on this shelf. So it pretty much just looks the same. And like I said, I don't have to really mess with anything there. I think I might take... <clears throat> the Alabama thing down and switch the little pictures. Not sure yet, but for the most part, I think I love, love the way that it looks. I love the way that it just, just, I love it. It's just so pretty in this room. And then this is the cabinets and stuff in here. Like I said, I need to go through here and wipe them all down. And then I'll need to clean the um, mirrors and stuff or the windows. And then, yeah, I mean, this whole thing is nothing but like storage. So that is, it just makes me very happy. So I love it. Very excited about it, and I'm so happy that I finally have this in my living room. Oh, such an awesome, beautiful piece. It's just so pretty. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think, but I absolutely love it. Alrighty, so <laughs> we had a guy come to the house just a second ago when we were chit-chatting chit with him. Um, so I wasn't able to get started on my living room like I wanted to. Um, it is about 20, no, I'm sorry, about quarter to 
10 to 1. Good grief. Is that brain stuff kicking in yet? Um, anyway, um, I'm thinking I'm going to move my furniture around. <laughs> I do this I do this and then I move it right back to where it's at but I just kind of thinking I want to really like show that piece and the couch is kind of like in the way let me show you what I mean by that so like right here like see the couch is kind of like in the way of that piece so and I just I don't like putting the couch right here either because it just I don't know it covers up too much but I think I'm gonna try it anyway and just give it a try and uh, see see how it'll look so i'm gonna start moving i'm gonna start clearing the stuff off of this and then get this moved over by the stairs and then um, i'll start moving furniture Alrighty, so this is kind of how i have it laid out right now i have the chair right here the couch here which kind of still gives you this walkway you know behind the chairs here in the kitchen to this space here and then I have the other chair over here, which I do like this layout, but this this chair right here will not like have a table to sit anything on. Um, so that's just that's just the way it's gonna have to be. For now, Brian will come out here and he'll say, I don't like it, move it back. But I do like the way that it looks this way um, because it just kind of opens up this area a little bit to actually showcase this gorgeous, gorgeous cabinet, console, whatever. Um, so yeah. So for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this and see how it works. More than likely, I'll be sitting over here because I always have something to drink. So that's where I'll be. But yeah, I like it like this. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this way? I'm just curious. storing some stuff inside of there just some of the stuff that I had on that shelf that was sitting here and just stuff that I'm not going to be using right now so you can see that I have some of the stuff in there and then I think I'm going to save this side for um, some of the stuff that I'm going to take out of like the china cabinet maybe and put that over here um, because um, I want to utilize that china cabinet for that other um, those other plates and stuff that I have because I have a bunch of like plates um in a box in the dining room and brian was asking me about that the other day he's like what is in this box and oh no my wreath fell huh that was what that noise was <laughs> I'm like what was that noise it was this wreath so this wreath fell down <laughs> so i need to like hang it back up um anyway so this box which that's right there that has some dishes in it that I bought over the Christmas um, season and they're like white plates with like a red trim around them and I had got a hair up my butt and I was like hmm I think I'm gonna try red plates you know with the little trim around them and I didn't ever get them out because I'm like last year I bought black plates and I'm like whatever 
I always try to want something different, and then when I go to get something different, it's just like, mm, I should have never got that, but no big deal, because I mean, eventually I will use those. Um, but I want to clean out some of the stuff that's in this china cabinet here. Some of the stuff I actually want to probably get rid of, some of the stuff I just don't need or use anymore. Some of the stuff is actually um, from my grandmother and from Brian's aunt, which was his grandmother. No, his grandmother's sister. Um, so I definitely won't be getting rid of any of that stuff. I'm gonna be holding on to it. Um, but getting rid of whatever I don't kinda need or want anymore. Um, I'm still also thinking I might get rid of some of, I got rid of a bunch of my, um, well, I didn't get rid of it. I actually got it. Well, I did get rid of it. I gave it to my niece, Hannah, a bunch of my Ray Dunn stuff. Just some of the pieces that I, I had repeat of and I just kind of didn't need anymore. So I gave those to her. Um, but I think for the most part, I think I'm going to be done for now. Um, I just kind of wanted to get that cabinet wiped out and maybe some stuff started putting in there, which is nice because then I can store that in between holidays and put like, you know, different holiday stuff in there as well. Um, and those plates probably won't take up too much space. I mean, because this thing has a lot of plates and stuff in it too. Um, it has my black plates in there, my red plates. It's got some glasses in there, glassware. Um, a lot of the stuff I use for fall and Christmas. So that's where I store a lot of that stuff. I might be able to adjust some of that stuff and put those dishes in there too. Excuse me, don't know. I also don't want to put too much weight in there. Um, so eh, we'll see, we'll, we'll play with it and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's about it. So, and I really don't want to end the vlog here because I think Brian and I are going to go out to eat tonight. We're going to go to a new, um, a new brewery and restaurant that kind of opened up here in, in town called it's, it's a stove house and it's called the Brewers Cooperative. And if it's not too packed, we want to go down there. So I told him, I said, we probably should go around three, three 30 before the crazy crowds come in on Friday night. I mean, because world, we want to get, we want to get there and get home before bedtime. <laughs> So I think I'll take you guys along with me, but for now, I think I'm going to be done here in the house. Um, I, I did sweep up a bunch of stuff like around the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum all that up and get that cleaned up. But for the most part, I'm really loving that. I think it looks really, really great. So yeah, I'm going to vacuum up the stuff and then I'll see you guys uh, later on. Alrighty. So Brian is going to wash his golf cart and we were just sitting outside for a few minutes and uh so he's gonna wash the golf cart and i came in the house because i was um distracting him <laughs> i was kind of keeping him from washing the golf cart because we were just kind of sitting there chatting and uh anyway so he's gonna do that and while he's doing that i'm going to get some clothes out for him i'm gonna change my clothes and then he's gonna come in and shower and then we're gonna head on out to grab um our early dinner it's like 2 30 so we'll probably leave around three i would assume maybe even a little after and then grab our dinner for the night and then uh come back and enjoy the rest of the evening so yeah i'm gonna go change clothes and and do all that i'll see you guys in a little bit so this is the new um brewers cooperative they do their own brewing here which is awesome this is located at stove house which is right out there and this they have so much seating this is a large place this is so awesome the co-op brewery lots of beers we ordered yeah, food I like the lights i like the wood yes i do too those lights are amazing yeah. here's the menu brian got a flight so that'll look nice so here's Brian's flight. These three beers are brewed here, IPAs, and then this one is from, do we know? No, just someplace else, but yeah. But it's all of them are sours? No, that's the sour, and these are all IPAs. I don't know much about beer, but whatever. So for our appetizer, we ordered pork belly bites. Mm, got a little red jalapeno. Yeah, I see that, and they smell hot. They smell really spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Yes? Good? Mmm, I'm gonna try them now. So Brian got the salmon. 
which looks amazing with potatoes and asparagus. And I got these steak fritters with french fries. Looks amazing. Alrighty guys, so we are back home. After we had dinner, my son called and we just kind of sat out there at the patio in that area and talked to him for about an hour. <laughs> so, um, and then after we got off the phone with him, we went over to Whole Foods really quick and um, uh, Brian was gonna get a coffee and he just decided against it. But we walked around Whole Foods and then now we're home. So that's it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great Easter weekend and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye!